Hello everybody, Reaper X1 here again, playing some more Terra Attack. Back, so I'm still in my official save, working on my elevator. And before I get too far into this, I've been meaning to ask, what do you guys think of the new intro? I've had a few suggestions that I should update it, people didn't really care for the first one. First one was me testing things out with the editing, and yeah, I, it paid its dues. So yeah, let me know. The new one's up, and been in a few videos now, so I think a bunch of you have probably seen it. But yeah, back to my intro. So yeah, I'm working on this one just to hopefully get to the second floor that isn't there yet. So that's my goal for today is to build the second floor and then get my elevator to sit on it at the second floor. So as I'm kind of getting that all figured out, I figured I'll just test a few things and I still got to fill in the armor for there. And so I got lots to do and it's a little slow going, so gotta be careful I don't take the wrong block out and have it all fall apart <laughs> but before I get too far I would like to say thank you you guys have uh, been throwing the support my way it's been great been trying to uh, reply to the comments as quick as possible but maybe a little slow still I haven't quite got a rhythm yet and also I would like to ask that you keep in mind that if you do like what you are about to see that you throw the like down below or jump down in to the comments and say hello even good job bad job suggestions it's all good or the easiest way to keep uh, up to date with what I'm up to I guess would be to subscribe to my channel that way you can get the latest videos I have to offer that hopefully you may be and hopefully will be uh, interested in yeah I just kinda trying to get set up for the next part this is where the two tracks meet so it's kind of a transition part there so it's kind of tricky figuring on the best way to put the armor so nothing will hook up. But I think it's a little clever flying. And this thing's pretty maneuverable. You can get by most of the hiccups that I've encountered. There's a few when it's sitting down when there's weight on it <coughs> that uh, get a little uh, like right about like this. Most of the time you can get out of them. I haven't been had one yet that I've been oh shucks I'm stuck <laughs> yet they've all been pretty manageable so there's the perch for the second floor I got it all built up I got my wireless chargers going keep that thing shielded and that as much as I thought it needs to I was thinking of covering it all up like a, a well defended tech would but I think that just start to look fugly so I figured the, the soft spots the guide arms and door spot and stuff like that I'd, I'd do them up the structural parts I guess so yeah so far that's my overall track assembly that's as far as I've gotten it's quite the job to actually fill it all in so needing a little change of pace from the armor I figured yeah it's about time to make that turret I've been mentioning and thinking about and yeah it's I figured it's a good idea to have it out and suspend it away since it will use some missiles. So all I really did is I just got my tech centered over a hole, dropped, uh, put some batteries down through it. And that's what it's rotating around, or being held in place, rotating with through the platform. So yeah, it's going to have an above and a below side that's pretty much hopefully going to be armed to the teeth with missiles. Because up here that's the only sensible weapon to use is missiles. Because they can reach the ground and I actually have targeting capacity. Unlike cannons and that, you put AI on them probably wouldn't even be able to see the ground. Or it's going to blow up stuff right underneath and it could be your stuff. So I figure I'll keep them at range with these turrets and then anything gets closer. Well, if I got some ground based turrets in mind, if I can get them built and in the game <coughs> I think that'll make good use of all all the weaponry for base defense or at least most of the weaponry I have to see how big I want to really go with this 
It all depends on how the game will let me. If it'll keep letting me play along and doesn't get horribly slow. Like this base build in here, this has been sped up. I actually sped up the video, all the three sections, which were over 50 minutes. Sped them all up at least twice before it got to this speed. So, yeah, it's pretty slow. I got a little counter when I'm recording. It says one to two frames a second. And I don't know, it might be generous when it says one sometimes. Depends what's going on. Selling stuff and lots of blocks underneath me, loose on the ground, that really doesn't help. Enemies close, that doesn't help. So I've been trying to keep them all cleared out, keep them back at a distance, so when I blow them up, I get like, maybe that two minutes or so uh, until they despawn, that might be laggy. Depending how many there was. So yeah, I'm just kind of shaping up the bottom there, getting it to look like hopefully something. Try and keep it balanced the best I can because I really wanted to have two wheels on each side. But then it was going to get big and I didn't want it too, too big. This is already going to be big enough. It is like a suspended turret. And I got a horrible feeling if this save does the same as my other save, it's just going to fall out of there. So I don't know if I really want to put <laughs> hours of work in lag intensive building on something that might fall off. At least with the elevator, I got it planned where I think I got a reloading setup figured out. So with a little bit of building I could fix it and have my elevator flown back in place. So I'm not too too worried about that. But so far it's been good. I don't want to jinx nothing. But yeah, you gotta cover it with missiles, right? And, and yeah, when I'm using missiles, if you're gonna have something like this, remember you need a for the missile pods, you need one free space, empty space behind, as if you can see it good enough there where it shows. And then the big ones up top, I got a boo-boo going on there. You actually need two behind it, I think. Or two in front. So yeah, I'm lining this puppy right out. Most of the visible surface is going to be nothing but missiles. It's meant to do like one shot kills. Well, one barrage kills. <laughs> but I figure the laser targeting and some radar are pretty handy to use too. Because, you know, kind of light. Lights are always good, you kind of see what's going on. Now I gotta try and get a little balance back to this thing. <coughs> Figure it'll turn better if it's balanced. But yeah, with just a single wheel on each side, it has been getting caught here and there. It doesn't quite have the footprint that would uh, work better, but it's something to deal with. I find if it gets hooked on something or whatever, just like whatever way you're turning then go forward or back depending what side of the holding uh, circle it's being rubbed against like in the platform there whatever side it's rubbing against you just gotta back away or drive forward away from it and it'll get turning again and I figured the armor should be pretty good weight for uh, the size of it, it should be heavier than a one block anyway, so I figure I'll drop them off and I don't think this is going to be perfectly symmetrical but I ain't too worried about that, I just want it to work function decent but like I was saying, I'll give it a little extra room there to fire right I got two behind, that should work so yeah, it is behind, and there might even be a space in front that you need to leave empty because I had an idea, one where they'd pop up and fire but I know I ran into a few complications, I just can't remember what it was. So I'll give her a little test rotate, make sure it's going to spin, like I was saying. Ha, ah, look at that. you got to maybe fiddle with it a bit, but it's not too bad for being a tech in a tech that's up, I think it's about 60 blocks high in the air. So it took quite a while. I was waiting for an enemy to spawn in. And I had just kind of went around and killed most of them. So this was 
probably half an hour or so of waiting that it took before this guy he finally got brave enough to jump in this side and like you see I think my turret did fairly well it turned him into a oh just a cloud of smoke in about one shot or one barrage one volley whatever you want to call it and it only took maybe well in my time what I played about a minute <laughs> So yeah, there's another use of uh, turrets. Now if the AI could do all this on its own, that'd be sweet. Yeah, I've been trying to figure new ways of making turrets just so I can incorporate the missiles and actually get them to work with the AI. And I think I got an idea and I'm going to use it for uh, the ground. The only problem being is the missile part. I'm not sure how I really want to do that yet. Because if you put the AI right where the missiles are, like on top of it, like a normal turret would be, it would be just right there. Like, their range, they need some distance to work effectively. So, I don't want something to be able to run up, bump into the missile pod itself before it fires, and then boom, the whole thing dies. So... I got me an idea to counter that, but I don't think I can have it rotate. So it's a good thing they got the homing feature to the missiles, and they can compensate for that, and I'll just have to build accordingly. Which shouldn't be too bad. I got, like I said, I got an idea for it. But that's pretty much my turret build, and if you can see over there, I even got a helipad built now. I did that while I was waiting for the enemy to spawn in. Ah! So my next thing is, is to redo, or after this is all done, I gotta remake my chopper so he can carry my little guy. Cause that's the goal, is this is gonna be my air support slash uh, backup station. So you drive the little guy in the elevator, he comes up to each floor, he can get into position, chopper picks him up, flies away to wherever the battle's needed. This is kind of for a multiplayer idea, I think, or when AI is super good and it can take commands and follow and should almost have like a mirror kind of function. So every button I push, it pushes. That would be a good idea for fleets, especially air control. I maybe suggest that one if I remember. But I figure that's pretty good for that little guy, so I'll put him back in. We'll close up the door. I still like the door. I get a kick out of that. Lock them all lit with the safety bar. Don't want them falling out. Might blow up. So yeah, I think that's floor two. Second floor finished up pretty nice. I'm just hoping that helipad's big enough because I can't go any bigger or I gotta do something to the turret. And I don't wanna. <laughs> I'm maxed out two ways on that tech. Maybe three ways, I don't know yet. So that's about her there. And I know one thing I want to make sure I do before I turn the game off. So I'm going to put this elevator car down at the bottom, at ground floor, where the hardware and all that would be. <laughs> no. But yeah, just in case it does fall out of the track. So yeah, this is going to be a little shorter one. It took so long to get this far, and then I sped it up to make it a little more enjoyable. So it's going to be a short video. But before I do go, I do want to thank you once again. Keep being awesome, guys. You guys are just awesome. You, like, you rock. And also, don't forget to like it down below. Don't forget to subscribe. That way you get the latest I can offer, and hopefully the most interesting for you. Or jump into the comments and say hello, how's it going, or have a good one. I don't know. I think I've been hearing it a lot more recently, so I don't know. But have a good one seems to be making a bit of a comeback. <laughs> it's all right on. So yeah, a little more farting around, and I'll be with base. Hopefully three choppers I want. But until then... Keep being awesome. Keep having a good one.
Bye.